Hi everyone, this is Deborah with Hello My Garden. I want to do a quick video of just some of the things in the garden today. Uh, here's our milkweed, and we did lose the monarchs, as I uh, advised last time, but we do have a swallowtail there. Um, sadly, next year I think what I'm going to do is cover them. When we, If we get the monarch again, I'm going to cover them, but I don't know how that's going to affect the pollinators that need to access the flowers, but I want to save some of those monarchs. So, uh, but that's the flowers. I want to let you see the flower. Um, we did get a not a not a not a significant little bit of rain. We got barely negligent, barely showing on the on the rain gauge. So on Friday, so we really still ground still parched, really in need of that rain. So if y'all could please send it some, I'd appreciate it. Here's bee balm, parched but flowering. Uh, one of our little bee buddies there, and our mason bee house. Wanted to show you some of the little tubes that are occupied. Okay, um, but what I really wanted to show you today was what I'm doing with my uh, melons here and squashes and stuff. So this is our, these are piles of dirt and some compost that we had purchased years ago and just kind of left them in this spot. Um, so because of the, the terrible infiltration of, uh, infestation of voles we have, I am using these Roll King wire baskets. So if you could see the little wire basket there, and these these are watermelons right there. Uh, various types of squashes I just kind of strew out. Um, so I wanted to show you, but I'm I'm doing one right here. Um, here's the Roll King basket that I'm working on right now. And I'm putting a little tiny ditch, because this is very dry dirt right here. It was some sort of, I don't remember what kind of compost, but clearly it wasn't uh, super rich or the sun kind of cooked it over the years. Um, and we didn't really cover it, because as I advised, I cannot mulch because of these voles. But I'm, what I did is a tiny tent trench here. I'm going to fill it with peat moss, wet peat moss to kind of soak in some of the water. And unfortunately, it is going to be a vole magnet, but what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to put red pepper in it. And the red pepper won't stay for good, but I'll keep sprinkling it when I can. Don't know if that'll work, but I'm hoping hoping it will. Um, I also have this Kiwana melon, which I did not really like. It's very spiky. The taste is fine, but trying to clean it, and I like to clean all my vegetables. Um, unfortunately, I know that there's a lot of nutrients in the soil and all that kind of stuff, but still need to clean it. So it's very hard to clean with those spiky things without hurting yourself. So I'm leaving it here as a kind of, um, kind of a, what is it? To draw the bad bugs maybe to this instead of, you know, something else to draw bad bugs and voles to, as opposed to my, the things that I'm planting for us. Um, and let me show you my cucumbers real quick too. These are, this is our stinging nettle looking kind of dry. Here's our cucumbers and they're doing pretty well. Fortunately the birds are kind of pooping on them but um, they're also taking care of the bugs so I guess we got to take some of the bad with the good and they're also providing fertilizer uh, but these are our cucumbers and they're doing pretty good. Um, let me see if I could show you a cucumber. There's a cucumber. Anyway excited about cucumbers. I love cucumbers. Uh, there's one of our little pollinator buddies in a flower and uh, hope you all are having a great great gardening day and we will catch you next time bye